what is happening guys i'm dan welcome back to the channel today we're diving into an american beer it's the real american beer i think this is endorsed by hulk hogan obviously he's on the label uh obviously you get a lot of celebrities that like to back different companies they try to do that and they use it as a tool to enhance their company and grow it uh not sure how that will go with this but we will uh evaluate what is in the can today the liquid more importantly so real american beer light beer brewed in the usa 4.2 percent abv and they do put 110 calories and uh four grams of carbs so light beer for sure and we'll see can they crack into the market i don't know i feel like that's going to be tough with this beer guys so again we're evaluating what's inside this can not what's on the outside so let's see uh, America at its best when it's united if there's one thing we can all agree on it's the simple pleasure of sharing a beer that's why we started real American beer to bring people together one beer at a time Hulk Hogan blah 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 um, let's see anything else who is this brewed by brewed and bottled by real American uh la crosse wisconsin under special agreement chicago stevens point wisconsin paul so some sort of like contract agreement whatever um we'll see guys i'm just gonna again give it a real evaluation for the liquid itself and uh, it's pretty cheap beer i think you can get it for like eight nine dollars a six pack something along those lines um and it's i thought it was based off of, of an original recipe from an old chicago brewery i don't know if that's true but that's what i heard through the grapevine so let's get into this one uh and let's see guys let's see if this beer is any good in a world of so many different beer options but we like light beers so let's see if this is decent go for the pour it looks pretty good and i apologize for the shade um can't get a good look at it per se but it looks good it looks like a darker straw yellow guys a little bit more golden and amplified than a light light lager but it looks pretty good in the glass nice little bit of head retention a lot of carbonation streaming to the top actually looks quite good a touch of haze in there too i'm not quite sure um looks that way okay guys again the beer looks pretty good head retention's hanging around nice and creamy uh, better than most lagers or pilsners so let's get into this one aroma little grass touch of floral a little bit of like a corn touch to this uh, grassy corn a little toasted malty grains um, smells a little bit <clears throat> grainier than some lagers it smells a lot like narragansett if i remember properly um i think it is slightly that way and that's what it reminds me of <clears throat> malty biscuit to um, not only toasted but it's just a maltier thicker biscuit uh, in the glass guys it has a little bit more density to it than a normal lager um you know it lager pilsner same thing um, but really it's giving me a little bit more grit a little bit more substance in the aroma so let's get to this one real american beer cheers yeah <clears throat> it's actually really smooth definitely has this like corn kind of base to it but again toasted grains a little bit of malty biscuit um it's it, it is it's grainier and more malty than a lot of lagers or pilsners it's not as corn starchy um it's not as yeasty and, and corn like it has a little bit more substance like i was saying i feel like that malt level is very nice it's very subtly creamy a um, little bit of decadent flow to this beer and again look at the head retention it actually is pretty good i'm not gonna lie um it's not like it's overly fancy but these beers are not meant to be it has a nice bit of flavor for being 110 calories like very nice mouthfeel uh very good creamy layer to this beer <clears throat> like i feel like i feel like there's more to this than like a, a bud light or a miller light it feels like there's a little bit more substance again uh grainier toastier malts a little bit more biscuity malt in here uh, a touch of uh, not citrus <clears throat> a touch of floral which does peak a little bit and then it's kind of overshadowed by the malt level nice creamy finish though the beer is really nice it's not too corn like uh, it's not too starchy it's not too grassy or grainy but again that malt level is very nice with a subtle creaminess <clears throat> excuse me actually is a pretty good beer if we're just talking straight up lager pilsner again there's a little bit more substance i don't think it's as boring as some other mainstream domestic lagers 
Uh, again, I feel like there's a little bit more mouthfeel and a little bit more decadence to this beer than many others in its category. Uh, I do like it. Again, it reminds me of something closer to a Narragansett, but it's been a long time since I've had a Narragansett. That's just what came to mind. But you can see nice creamy head retention sitting on the sides. You don't really always get that with, with you know, a Bud Light or a Miller Light. Again, this has a little bit more substance in the malt uh, and grainy level of this beer. Just a little bit more decadence than you typically get. And I do like it. I enjoy it. It's, it's a tasty drinker. I mean, really. Um, 110 calories, four carb. It's not like it's overly heavy, but again, drinks with more boldness, more substance than your average lager or pilsner uh, in the domestic category. So guys, I like this beer. I think it's solid. Uh, maybe it is based from an old recipe from Chicago. Don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've heard. Uh, and maybe it, it does seem that it could be true today. So where do I put this beer? It's it's just a real American beer, a light beer. Nothing to it besides a little bit more decadence, uh, a little bit more substance than your everyday lager or pilsner. I'm just going to go with a 3, 6 out of 5. Um, yeah, I, I would drink this again, guys. So that's where I stand. Real American beer. Thanks for being here. Cheers, pros. Yamas.